Introduction to Folk Art, Part 1 Have you ever scribbled shapes and lines to form unusual images on the walls of your house or school? Or drawn animals, trees and people from what you have noticed around you? This need to express and imagine through art is one of the major differences between humans and other animals. This form of art where one creates from stories one has heard and the things one has seen or imagined is called folk art. Folk art can be described as art that a community makes together. It is created to express ideas, beliefs, morals and duties of the community. Folk art can be broadly divided into two categories, visual and performative. Visual art is art created on objects or surfaces. It includes painting on cloth, paper, pots, floors and walls. Performative art involves songs and movements that people in the community collectively remember. Like puppetry, music and dance. But sometimes folk art can fall into both these categories. This is a scroll painting from West Bengal called Patachitra. The Chitrakars or artisans of Bengal Patachitra create two kinds of folk art. Paintings which are visual and songs which are performative. They sing the stories they have painted, therefore performing their art. Durge, durge, tada. So Bengal Patachitra is both a painting and a song. India is home to many communities with different cultures. These cultures gave rise to different types of folk art such as Fur from Rajasthan, the Bihu dance in Assam, Bhangra from Punjab, Matani Pacheri from Gujarat and Cherial scroll painting from Andhra Pradesh. In the next video, we will learn how to identify folk art. But before we go, here is a task for you. Look at this image. Can you identify this folk art? Is it visual, performative or both? Discuss and find out. The Sarmaya Arts Foundation has a large collection of folk art and through these videos, we are going to take you on a journey to discover different kinds of folk arts in India.